Are you a big Battlestar Galactica fan? Are you wanting to print one of Bill Adama's Battlestars? This is the Battlestar Valkyrie. Join me inside while we print this. Hello and welcome to today's video. As I said, we are printing Battlestar Valkyrie. So this little guy was from the first Cylon War. Bill Adama actually commanded Battlestar Val Valkyrie. Um, she was seen in the miniseries over Caprica during the Cylon invasion and killing everybody. This was one of the ships that was coming up in orbit with fighters and was disabled by the Cylon programming. But also it was seen in the Battlestar Galactica episode Hero, where Bill Adama was on a covert op mission with where he sent a pilot across the Cylon Red Line, Armistice Line, and uh, Bulldog, and this was the ship he was commanding at the time before he went and took over the Jupiter-class BSG Galactica. So, this little guy, great awesome print. Let's hop over to the computer and get this guy Slice and Cura. It's four prints, so here we go. But before we do that, let's hop through a couple pieces of business. If you enjoy the content on this channel and you like what you're seeing, you're interested in 3D printing and how-tos and different things like that, hit that subscribe button. Join the crew. I really need you here. Everybody is important. So if you've got a question about 3D printing, about finding models, anything like that, problems with your printer, leave a comment down below. Be glad to help you out. I may have a video that may help you out on the problem, or it may become something that I make a video on to help you out. So thank you guys. Let's hop over to the computer. All right, so as I said, Battlestar Valkyrie. So this was a ship that was in one episode, commanded by Bill Adama. Um, it was in the episode Hero in the remake series that was out there. And this ship was originally in the first war, and then it became a support vessel later on as older ships were retired. So this was an older ship, but it looked sleek. It looked new compared to Galactica herself. And it was just a really cool, small model. And I kind of fell in love with the design. I, I am a big fan of Battlestar Galactica, but this one, David Bogart, you did an awesome job in making this model. It was really easy to print, really clean looking, and honestly, you can print this on an Ender 3. You can print this on pretty much any size printer. So, and looking at it, I printed this on an Ender 3. So this one is pretty cool, was really cool. I love the, gra the detail design through the model. Sleek, small, which is what that ship was. It was a small, little battle star so it was a little guy compared to the big boys like the jupiter class battle stars so as you can see like i said it's four prints the engine cluster the midsection then you've got the front of the ship the stand is not included in the model in the model so if you need a stand for it you'll have to make one for yourself but it was really simple to make and like i said it was four files so let's launch kira now i have this on us you know we're gonna pop this down to an ender 3 build plate all right, so there's the Ender 3 build plate. We'll get around to the front here. And it was a really simple print. I printed it in four pieces, but there is the complete model as well. If you want to print one, just complete model and not do the pieces. But I chose to do the pieces. So we'll clear this guy off the build plate. And we're going to start with the back of the ship. So pretty straightforward. What I did, I, again, I did the rotation. This is a connection piece, so I don't really care what it looks like, so we can have that one facing down. So if it messes up, who cares, right? So we'll get that on there, but look at the detail on just the design. I, granted, this could have had some cool design, but whatever, the top where you actually are gonna see it looks amazing. So we'll move that guy over to the corner and let's get the front part of the ship. So again, small, sleek, good cuts. I love the cut here. So again, when I printed it, I stood it up because I don't care what that connection point on the inside looks like. So we'll stand that up. We'll zero them up on the plate so we get all of them. Now there will be some support here, but hey, support comes off pretty easy. So, and if you have a problem getting support off, here's a quick tip while I pull in the first piece of the midsection, put it in the freezer for five minutes. You'd be surprised how well support comes off just by getting it cold. But hey, you know, you didn't hear that anywhere but here. So um, let's get the first section of the midsection on here. And we'll zero that guy out just like we do all the others. Now I chose to do this in four prints, but 
the fighter bays are completely hollow all the way through, which is a cool thing about this ship. And let's get midsection two on here. So I've got all pieces fitting on, well, I gotta turn this one upright. But you guys can see why I'm turning it upright. So the connection points are down. I'm also limiting support. And how am I limiting that support, you might ask. Well, pretty simple. One, I'm not filling this full of support. That can print hollow, which is great. And look at how, he, the way he cut the model when he made it to make these four pieces are perfect. Other than needing some support here, a lot of these can just build upward without any support. So that makes this really nice to print. And you can print all four pieces on the print bed at one time, which is really cool. Um, I didn't because I wanted you guys to be able to see each print as it goes up, but also just my usual warning about printing multiple pieces on one build plate is if at any point something fails, you risk losing all four pieces. And these are all fairly tall pieces. So you risk losing all four pieces where you know, power outage or something stupid gets you, well, you lost the entire print and you have to start over again. Um, or hopefully your auto resume will pick up, but if you get a clog or something like that, you're stuck. So um, Inland PLA Plus is what I use to print this model. Um, I did a layer height of 0.12, um, wall thickness three, infill density, I did satent, it's a model, it doesn't need to be super strong. Print temperature of 215 is what I choose for Inland a lot of times. Um, also, make sure your retraction is on. I usually like to stick around 6.5. Um, keeps that stringing away and lets the model play. And if you're doing multiple pieces on your plate, make sure you have your Z-Hop retracted. And Z-Hop, uncheck Z-Hop only pr over printed, par printed parts, because if you got a piece of uh, support there, you might clip it. Um, so make sure your Z-Hop is on and your Z-Hop height. Uh, 0.4 to 0.6 is usually pretty good. So generate support, yes we do, so 80% is fine. Let's hit the slice button on this guy. And while this slices, if you guys do enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button, join the crew, I appreciate having you here. So slicing, um, I am still using Cura 4.62. Um, I am working on updating the 4.8, so hopefully you guys will start seeing that here on the channel. But uh, I've been really comfortable with 4.62. I had a lot of problems trying to go to 4.7, so I just didn't even bother to go to 4.7. It was a, kind of a mess. But 4.8, from what testing I've done and stuff like that, it, it took my pro moved my print profiles really well. I haven't had any lockups or anything like that, so it's being a really good program this time around. But again, Battlestar Galactica, this... This was actually in two episodes. It was in the first miniseries as well. Um, you see the ship die. Um, you see the Cylons hack it, shut it down, and just blow her up. So um, that's kind of the end fate of this poor little ship, is it didn't survive more than 10 minutes in the Battle of uh, Caprica. So, but there we go. We'll hop over to preview, just kind of get a glimpse of that support that it's going to put on there. I believe it puts support on, it does support the front, which needed it, and it does put a little so bit of support on here, and it looks like I still have raft enabled. Um, if you're comfortable with not trying, go for it, but a lot of times I use a raft because who cares, these center sections, they're just glued together and fill it in with some filler, but you can see support right here, and it did put support on the engine cones. So, but most of the other rest of the ship didn't need any which is awesome and spectacular for this design. So let's hop over to the printer and take a look at it. See you guys on the other side.
right guys, that's the print. So simple, elegant little model. Really nice print, easily done on an Ender 3. You could do it all pieces if you wanted or like I did one piece at a time just to make sure you get all the parts. Um, I honestly didn't have a single fail printing this one. I did have a seam line that you could see in the video that I'm still working on filler and different things like that. I put it in black primer since then just to kind of start building it up. Getting ready to paint this guy because uh, it's just awesome model. The supports came off pretty well. Um, I did have to, on the engine piece, I did put it in the refrigerator for about five minutes and then it popped right off. So. All together, real simple, real easy put together model. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys did too. If you liked what you saw today, hit that subscribe button. And thank you. We'll see you in the next video.